I'm here with Kamala Andini, the director uh, and writer of Uni. Kamala, thank you so much for being here and for bringing Uni to the festival. Thank you so much, Cameron, for inviting me to be a part of the festival again. It's really is my pleasure. And it's very excited for me to, to, to be able to screen my third feature, which is a Uni to the audience, really. We are thrilled to have it in the platform competition and uh, you're back in platform again. So we're really happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the story of a girl's coming of age, uh, which is a story we see often in cinema, but you've given Uni herself some obstacles that are specific, I think, to contemporary Indonesia. Before we get to the character at the center of your film, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about the lives of girls in Indonesia today and what was it about those lives that you wanted to explore? Um, yeah. Um, well, it's uni had a, a quite a quite journey since I the first time I start writing about it. Um, as you said before, as well, it's not my first time actually um, hearing a story about a girl getting married in Indonesia. Uh, it happens many times up until now, and I think it's not just in Indonesia, in some other countries too. Um, but this time, um, I just remember after I finished my second feature, um, I heard the story about Uni from someone who's work in my house, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. Uh, I felt like um, I need to, to talk about it in my next uh, feature. And um, it's it's very complicated in Indonesia's in Indonesia situation right now, especially also with uh, with the religion. A lot of changes after Reformation. Although I don't think we we actually had ever uh, live after Reformation. Like the new order is still in our um, in our daily life, and. Um, a lot of girls um, is they they live in in a very in a very different um, area than than the one that I live in, and in that in that place, a lot of people. I think when you see uni, a lot of it also saying about double life situation, mm -hmm. and I think it's just um, um, I don't think I want to see a lot of uh, teenagers to have um, a double life uh, situation where they they have to live something that they don't supposed to uh, supposed to deal with in, a, in such a young age. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about that double life? Uh, in the film, we see Uni with her friends, and she's very different. Uh, they're very frank. They're talking about all the things that teenagers talk about. And uh, then when she's at home with her family, uh, she's quite different. Can you talk about that double life and why it's necessary for her? Um, this also coming on from um, maybe quite some times ago. I, uh, a lot of times I have to, go, uh, to come to very uh, little area or small islands in Indonesia. And a lot of time I have to see a lot of girls, uh, they don't even have a chance to get an education. And I was like asking myself, um, if I live in this place, will I ever have uh, a good education as I have right now? Like, will I ever uh, go to university? Because I go to university because a lot of people in my in my area go to university and work, and that that's what's normal for me, and that's what I want to do because everyone else doing that. But what if I don't live in that kind of area? What is what if what normal is marriage? And um, so that question like hangs in my head a lot and. I see a lot of people trying to, trying to live as, as uh, what other people want us to live. Um, in Indonesia, we are very communal. Um, our society is very communal and very tight. We we basically survive because of each other, and we always wanted to be approved by the society, and we wanted to be. 
um, be able to live what they want us to live. And um, this is what is always hard because uh, maybe we want different things and um, maybe in some other part it doesn't have to be like that. Um, so yeah, just going through uh, that process of thinking, I think is what uh, uni is all about. You know, in addition to um, showing us that that sense of how powerful the community is around uni and how it uh, exerts forces on her, you all you have the the forces of uh, cultural tradition, of religious custom, of patriarchy, all kind of shaping her or her future. Uh, but you also give her these really great um, individual characteristics. You know, her love of the color purple and how she talks with her friends and um, her courage and her curiosity and her unpredictability. And so that, what I really loved about the film is that there is this individual who is navigating these bigger social pressures. I wanted to ask you about how you shape the individuality of Uni's character and how you worked with your lead actor, uh, Arawinda Kirana. Uh, what did she bring to the role and what, what were you uh, shaping for her in terms of those those individual things? Yeah, well, um, very often when we want to make a film about woman who wants to, to change her life, um, most of the time I felt like as a woman we have to be very heroic somehow, like we have to be very masculine, like we have to do things that is very brave and, 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 and just very heroic. And I think uh, life doesn't work like that. I mean, we 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 have um, all of us have uh, different characters. We have we have a good thing in our culture. We also have a bad characters in ourselves. And I think um, I like to have those kind of characters. Uh, and for me, what when I when I make the film, I'd like to to recall like my times also when I was teenagers and how we tried to find what is liberation really, what is freedom for us. That's actually for me a very crucial time to, to find out who we are. And we make mistakes, a lot of mistakes in that time. And it's important, those, those mistakes are very important. Um, so, that's what I want to do with, with Uni. I want her to be just herself with all the goods and the bads, um, with all the quirk quirkiness. And I want her to be to be able to have a room for unknown. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't really know what she wants, but she want a, a best thing, a great thing in her life. And I think it's okay uh, to be unsure. I think it's okay also to be vulnerable. And and yeah, and when I talked to Arawinda, she was just turning nineteen when oh, um, when she played in uni, and I see a lot of that in her as well as a teenager. Um, she 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 has a voice, uh, but she also have a lot of um, uh, reluctant and. You know, um, a lot of uh, things happening in her as a teenager because she's a teenager, and I'd like to play along with 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 also her character, and that's why I choose her uh, for the first time because this is this is the first time she plays in a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, uh, I think she plays really great. I mean, Uni is just like what I expect. I expected. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I've noticed often in films about young women made by men, um, you focus on the, the woman herself only. And in films uh, about young women made by women, what I loved about your film is that you see her friends as well. Uh, her friends are a really important part of her life and they illuminate her as a character. Um, you see her behave in very different ways. And the friend group is 
uh, really important to who she is as a young woman. Um, in those scenes, I, I remember especially the scene where they're just kind of lying on the grass, kind of chatting and, and very intimate and close with each other. In those kinds of scenes, what did you want to show about the importance of friendship to this particular young woman? Um, what I like about uni when I creating it is also that it becomes a girl's talk. Like I felt like as a creator, I felt like I just talking to my set, to my friends, uh, my girls' friends. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I like to bring in the table also what we actually talking about, um, in, in our private time, um, we talk about things that that actually haven't been talked before with other people. Um, we are being silly. We're talking about guys, um, like what you do with her friends. And the thing is about about females or girls. Sometimes we talk about things that randomly, like sometimes it's not very important maybe mm -hmm. information for a lot of people but it's just it's just going on for us so i'd like to to give this intimate moment um in in the film and yeah for me um the friends are very important like uh they all have different different characters in their own way and I felt like they know each other for a long time um, and they can talk about everything. And that's what's important. They can talk about everything. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious with those scenes because, uh, I mean, you went through uh, your own teen years, but you're not a teenager anymore. Um, for the dialogue in those scenes, were, were you writing all of that yourself or were you depending on the girls themselves in terms of how teenagers talk now? um i wrote the dialogues by myself but we discuss it within them because for example the dialogue that comes out from one of the girls Ung, she said like um do you think um is is a girl can do masturbate can masturbate like yes. it's only guy who can do it like mm -hmm. it's actually her i mean when every time we we do discussion, I discuss a lot of things with the girls. Um, myself, we talks about sexual health. We talks about things, and there are things that they don't know as well. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep it in their character, like the one that is very um, naive or very, you know, loose about the the knowledge of this thing. I keep it like that. Mm -hmm. I think I keep it like themselves. The one that is. There are always also girls who's like doesn't want to hear about those kind of things, <laughs> so I keep it like that. And the one who's very curious, the one who's like maybe the expert of everything, but she just quiet. Mm -hmm. um, so those kind of thing. Um, um, when we build the character, I kind of get who they are in in those kind of discussion, and yeah, I I kept it like it. Mm -hmm. You know, I uh, we had your last film, The Seen and Unseen, uh, at the festival and platform. I think it was 2017, and um, you are you're back. And uh, this film feels, in a way, both similar and very different in terms of the style. That the, the last film had a, a really uh, rich sense of the spirituality and and mysticism, also, almost in um, in Indonesian culture. This one is much more of a naturalist drama uh, with a very strong social message in it. Uh, and I wonder about just the form of the film, the style, those kinds of things. Where do you see yourself fitting naturally? Are these both parts of your own character as a filmmaker, the naturalism and the, the mysticism? Well, um, for me, what, what always important as a writer and also a director is that I tell stories about our people, um, Indonesian people, um, in in any kind of perspective um, or any kind of theme, of course. Um, but when I make film, usually in the beginning, I know that every film has different needs. Like I always think that every film is like a person that it has their own character. And me as a director, I don't know yet what kind of character is the 
story and that's what i have to find out during during the process like i'd like to know who she, who she is who's the film like how how she wants to be portrayed and in terms of style um treatment and everything so i believe that every story has uh, different things um with uni um the process is actually almost the same even the result is very different I mean, um, I work within the area of the culture. I work within the uh, the actors uh, themselves, and I wrote um, in the process. I found things and then I put it in the story. But uni turned out to be different. It need more layers. It need more text texture. Uh, it needs a lot of things different that what than what. Uh, the scene and Nancy needs to to be able to talk about what it wants to say. Mm -hmm. um, so it has a lot of colors as well um, in this one. I think the the dynamic and the textures of the area and the society is very important to be portrayed in the treatment of uni as well. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know, there's um, there's a wonderful lightness to some of the scenes in Uni, um, and she's a remarkable spirit, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the film goes towards a very serious conclusion, uh, and I wanted to ask you about that and how the film will be seen in Indonesia, especially and by young women there, uh, because there is a very powerful message there, and I think there's a warning as well. And I wondered what you had to to say about how how you think or how you want the film to be seen by young women in, in Indonesia? Um, for me, as a woman living in Indonesia, um, to create changes, we need baby steps. Like, we need a lot of baby steps. And I think every process is important. Um, I'm usually in my film, what I really like to hear is discussion, because we are not a very confrontative people. We are people who's always usually not talk about things and just let the time talk about things. So, but I think um, what I want is unique create discussion people. Women can start talking about about things um, and they can, they can feel free to, uh, to be whatever they want to be. Um, one of the reasons I make this film also because of my daughters. Um, so I want them to to be able to talk about anything they want to talk as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think um, uh, dialogue is what I'm looking for by making this film in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. The last question I want to ask you is about the climate for women filmmakers uh, around the world. So outside of Indonesia, of course, um, you know, all around the world, there, there is this kind of uh, greater attention being paid to stories told by women in film and, and all kinds of support for women filmmakers that was not there before. I'm curious, from your perspective, are these changes making a difference for a filmmaker like you? Hmm. It is, yes. Um, I think um, support is one of the things that can get me here as well, in different kinds, of course. I mean, from, from the basic things is just the support of my family, for example, because there are a lot of things that I have to do is is I think I think I think filmmaking is quite uh, a masculine world uh, for really? me. Really? Why do you say yeah. that? Um, it for uh, maybe before I get married and before I have a children, I don't think like that. I felt like it's just the same. But after I have kids, I felt like it. The world is belongs uh, to to men because of the time issues, like. You, it's very hard for you to juggle. Um, like you have to work in in so many hours, um, in so many times. 
and then also the location and the room it's very hard while you when you raise a kid you need routines you need to be sure where you are you need to to have uh, certain times like exact time for them but we don't have exact exact times in in filmmaking that's why after i have a kid i can understand that it's it's very hard for a lot of women to be to still be in the industry where they have something yeah, where they have kids or, or family um and in this case i think um the support of my family that especially in indonesia uh, when you know when i have to be pregnant and then shooting in a plate in a remote area of indonesia in a, in a very different hours like in the middle of the night or in the in the early beginning of morning there they know that it's worth it they know that um even when they may be very afraid something happened with me or the baby or the kid but uh, they know that it's my dream and they know it will be worth it they know it's not something that i'm it's just my ego or my uh to to do all of this to like having sacrifices for the family so those kind of thought those kind of support i think is important because we are a lot of time we will um you know unsure about our choices and we also maybe sometimes we think like is it is it worth it what i do like mm. you know those kind yeah. of things but a lot of support i think will will help us release those kind of unsure things well i want to thank you for making this film and please keep making films camilla we it's really important i think to all of us that we see the stories you want to tell and that we we see and hear your voice in cinema i think it's really um a remarkable perspective you have as a, as a filmmaker. So I hope you get all the support you need to keep making the films you want to make. We're so happy to have your latest film, Uni, premiering at our festival and to have you back after The Seen and Unseen. Thank you for this conversation and thank you for the film. Thank you, Cameron.